Hello everybody and welcome back to Bjorn Home for our Season 1 Farming Simulator 15 Let's Play Episode 30, yoo -hoo. Right, we brought a sawmill, I've put a few logs on here so we're all cracking on to get ready so I cut another couple of trees down Let's start this puppy up. You can back up um, to the sawmill. There you go. Doop, doop, doop. It's not quite full because it's only giving us five logs that side, four logs that side. So we just have a look. But it's enough to get started. We are 73% on logs, so yeah, we, we, I'll keep cutting trees down and lopping them on, and uh, yeah, in placing it on this cultivated soil is working, if you walk around it's placed alright actually, it's just when you go away from it, the view looks like you've not, but never mind. But anyway, hopefully everybody's all good and things are ticking along nicely for you. Thank you to everybody that subscribed to me and watched my videos. So, what? Is there anything you want me to do on this Let's Play? Any ideas? Did you want me to carry on with uh, one a week or two a week? I know I didn't do it. You only had one episode last week. That's because um, of other things. Obviously, at the beginning of this week, you had a couple of um, episodes with um, Dr. Vesuvius and a shadow box which uh, graciously invited us over to invade their land with me and the donkey they regretted every single minute of it but hey, we got there right what we can do what should we put in there? Should we put wood chips or should we put something else in? Um, we could nip down and get some straw. Where well, we got a fair bit of straw, have we? Got something that can take straw. Yeah, let's go get some straw. So, yeah, me and Donkey had a. Uh, a great time with uh, Dr. V and A Shadow Box. So thank you very much to them. Maybe possible for us to do it again sometime. Uh, I don't know. Depends. They might not want us back. Uh, we still not got patch 1.3, but, but, <laughs> here we go. Um, I have read somewhere that it should be coming, should be, big if, at the end of May, beginning, uh, the end of April, beginning of May according to giants they're just ironing some bugs out <laughs> uh, yeah. obviously they they've it looks like they've been concentrating on their console uh, launch which is in the middle of in the middle of May so with them being I would have thought there'd be bug fixing for that so 
because they're charging a fair whack to be honest if you have it on PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One they're charging 50 euros for it so would you want a game that's bugged to hell because I, I, I don't know how it works because I've not got a console I don't know if you can update or patch which I would have thought mm, is a bit difficult but I could be wrong right what do we want we want straw will straw go in start yes so yeah um, obviously the consoles are not as forgiving as PCs for errors and bugs so it looks like they've been concentrating on that so if they've developed anything interesting or because they're going to have to streamline it a bit more for the consoles then hopefully it will get passed on to us uh, improved performance issues and stuff like that hopefully but you know they released 13 console stuff with dodgy bales they said they fixed it they never have but a hey. fingers crossed so as I say in about <laughs> two to four weeks ish we may have a 1.3 patch which hopefully uh, I'm going the wrong way because I'm yakking hopefully we'll fix some issues I don't think they've released a script yet which they said they were going to I could be wrong on that one but yeah so that's the update with 1.3 anyway said I'd keep you informed when I heard stuff oh, mostly uh, I bet you lot are here before me anyway but yeah but if you haven't there's a heads up so you can unload straw in this should I think it takes 10,000 doesn't it yeah which is a bit of a bum just pull this trailer off over here and dump it then whoa you see that kick up <laughs> and don't forget that or oh, you might not know uh, the sawmill works on a five minute game rotation so it shouldn't start so now Info fuel empty fuel 10,061, which is 100%, which it should only be 10,000, but hey, never mind. Logs are 73%. So we should start getting some stuff. So if I speed it up for five minutes, game time five minutes, that is, it should start kicking into. There you go. Easy as that. And if you've never seen this before, it's nice animation. It, these uh, animated logs, obviously, you put your logs here. It, I think it's to stop a lag, having a pile of proper logs there. And they go through there, get sawn up. Spits out some wood chips here, which we can put back in if we really want to, and we get a pallet of wood, which then we get a loader or a pallet fork or whatever, and uh, load it up and take it over to where you sell your wool, which is over that way over there.
Yeah. All right. So yeah, you guys are gonna have to let me know if you want me to um, skip stuff and just, you know, come back when we've done harvest or, you know, because it's farming. To be honest, we all play the game, so we all know what it is. We all have to do it cultivate and plant and harvest and then spray, re-sow, plant, you know, it's a continuing circle. But if you guys don't want to see that anymore on screen then let me know. If you want, um, I don't know, if you've had enough then tell me. If I'm doing stuff wrong, tell me. It's for you guys just as much as me. Yeah, it's just filled it all. If you don't like what I'm doing, tell me. But the other thing is, um, It's just the way different people play the game, to be honest. I know a lot of you, a lot of you, and, you know, enjoy watching. Enjoy <laughs> me uh, babbling on for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. So at the moment in time we've got 300,000 quid, so what can we spend 300,000 quid on? Do we go into foresting more, or do we start baling, or things like that? Let's just have a quick look in the shop, see what toys we can come up with. What? Obviously we've got um, the sawmill on the go now. So we have a front loader if we want. So we need a, a sort of flatbed trailer, to be honest. What we got in here? Nothing. A Zippo. Taliander. No. So we need a flatbed trailer. I thought. I thought. Thought. thought it might be in bailing. So we've got choice of. Um, a B and M Brantana, which has got no sides or no heads, which could be fun. <laughs> Excuse me, just had to take a drink then. I apologise. But it's got a front, yeah, front bogey wheel, and you know what I'm like with him. Or there's the small Marshall. BC-25 or the larger Marshall BC-32 uh, that's 25 that's only 10 I'm just looking at the maintenance day that one is 25 quid a day maintenance that one is only 10 interesting Mm-hmm. That's a smaller trailer than the 32. Basically, we're going to use it mainly for carting our pallets. And there's the BNM. What in-game stuff is there? What in game bailing tech? There's the Flegel. That is a nightmare, that. That one. Oh, there's the IT runner pack. Maybe. Maybe. It might be start worth looking at the IT runner pack. Because we've not used it yet. The only thing is, it's fifty-five thousand for the actual. Um, don't know what you 
call it the the chassis unit the actual hook lift unit but then you can get the other things the container is 45,000 capacity but the actual price of it is 42,000 so you're looking at nearly hmm you know 90 odd thousand so and yeah Ooh, decisions, decisions. Or do we start going for sugar beet? We've got the rooster we can do, but if we save a bit more money, we can get the matrox. E. I know we've got a lot of slurry starting to collect up so that might be a thing to look at as well a zoom hammer and the grubber disc thing hmm. Interesting. Obviously, we've got that's the thing. Let's just nip down and check our silos. At I don't think I don't think they're done yet. Because if so, then we can start making some big moolah down at the BGA. I don't think it's ready yet, but I could be wrong. Uh, this way, I think. The yeah, next harvest is going to be quite big, because we're... Or do we just go for it and buy a couple more fields? Just see where the BGA is leaving us at the moment. I haven't got my beacons on now, you can see it's still covered. Well, let's just drive over 43%, so it's halfway there. Uh -huh. Okay. And the cows look like they're happy at the moment as well. The liquid manure we've got nearly hundred thousand, which won't it won't last that long, to be honest. It's surprising how quick you get through liquid manure. I mean, it looks like, you know, we've got 100,000, that's going to last ages. It doesn't. Probably last one um, rotation on the spraying, and we'd be lucky if we get all the fields out of it. So we're going to need a front loader anyway. We're going to have to look at a front loader to buy. So let's buy a front loader. We'll take this tractor back to the yard for the minute. Buy a front loader. and uh, take it down to the BGA so 
I'll get out with the others. Why not? And we're gonna have to set ourselves up a bit more with logging as well. So there's there's loads of things we've got to do. Um, let's just buy a front loader, wheel loaders. Lieber hurt no. To be honest, I'm going for the JCB. And we need a bucket for that. For two reasons. <laughs> One, I've got the JCB pack installed. <laughs> and it's, you know, I've got to get my use out of it. And two, I think this one is a lot better than the Libra. 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 It's funny pronunciation, that. And the reach is better on this one as well. It's got a better reach. You thought it would be in a bigger machine. You, you might have a bit bigger bucket, but they haven't put a bigger bucket in. Whoa! Corner of a building. Insurance claim. Insurance. Okay, I'll take this down, and what I'll do is I'll fast forward time till we got a pallet, and then we can show you how to. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how to load that and dump it. <laughs> so we'll be back very soon. See you in a minute. Oh, welcome back. Here we are. Pallet boards, 100%. I'll just speed it up because normally it should shut it down at 100%. Let's see if it does it. Yep, pallet full. So let's just slow it down. So why you've been away? I've took the uh, machine down to the BGA, so we're all ready for that. So next time we might be. Might be if I can remember how to do it. Course playing some BGA emptying, and either next episode or in a couple, there's a couple more placeable mods that I want to bring in that um, will add to the game, which I might have to. That's just why I'm here. I know I'm getting sidetracked. See how much this field is, because this is a good field for what I want to do. So 50,000. Okay. So 50,000 we need. Right, we need a some sort of trailer to put a pallet on. I have decided that I'm going to go with the IT runner. Pure thing, simple fact is I don't use it that much. <laughs> and um, yeah. What colour do we want for the base? I'll have black for the base. Whatever. And we need. We need. We need. In bowling tech, hopefully, this can transport. What color do we want this one for the bales? Hmm, let's have so we color code. I don't know, um, dark reddish. That'd do. There we go. So we need to hook the hook lift up. Yeah, not driving like that. So yeah, there is a couple of things on the 
cards to come up in. You know, a couple of home mods that I want to put through. But we will see. And, uh, and the other thing I've done is um, I've put on my channel um, PayPal donations but obviously I'm not asking you to donate if you can afford it and you wish to contribute even more to the channel then it is greatly received um, but I don't expect it but there is that option there now uh, a couple of people have asked me before and I've sort of stayed clear of it but to be honest games are getting ridiculously priced and it's getting harder and harder to keep up but only if you feel you can afford it do it I'm not asking for it but it's on there as an option that's it that's all I'm gonna say about it so there right let's see if this can take this <laughs> Uh, if it can be broken, we will break it. Oh. You know me. We need to break stuff once in a while. Quite oh, heavy pallet. I thought I had a mod installed as a grabber. I have to have a look, see if I have. Because this is a bit wishy washy on these pallet forms. These are stackable. <laughs> uh, dear. If you see my mod review, you wouldn't have thought so. Hey, we've got one on there. Let's go and sell it. If it stays on. I'll put it on the side to see if it stays on, to be honest. Because it's supposed to have fixed um, wall pallets and things like that staying on their trailers. Hmm. We shall see. It's staying on at the moment. So good times, good times. Come on, up the hill. Let's put a bit of beaconage on. Seems so the sun's starting to set. Yeah, so we we not got too far to go. Look at that, it's starting to slip a bit. And all we have to do is drive through. Right, we've got 45. 45. We might have to reverse this actually. Up the hill. Up the hill. Forty-five thousand. We've got at the moment. So let's see what this gives us boom 47 so it's back give us two and a half thousand which is not bad it's not bad to say that we just got to go check it now and again it, it would have been nice if there was a little thing come across the screen saying your pallet is full or it could be into 
integrated into the uh, animal hood that would have been good so any developers out there listening there you go stick it in the animal hood or something anyway I think I've bored you enough this time I hope you'll come back to me in the next episode I say there's a couple of things that um, a couple more things that I want to do placeables so you'll have to wait and see what they are you might like them you might not yeah it's just something interesting some more interesting things to uh, have on the game in fact we can put this at the side can't we we can just drop it off at the side about where that is anyway and we can just go and load it up one attaching we have to select it detach okay that's it right thank you all very much for watching and you all take care till next time and as I say let me know if you want uh, two a week or one a week or however you you feel that um, it's going I do read everything I don't reply to all of it but I do read it and it's all much appreciated and all your views are much appreciated and all your subscriptions are much appreciated so as I say till next time you take care bye bye <laughs>